This is my match video for the February 17th, 2018 Two Gun Action Challenge match held at the Pima Pistol Club. I competed in armor division using all my regular equipment with the exception of this time using my 10.3 inch barreled KE-15 Commando. On this stage there were two full size Ipsic steel the shooter must engage from each position. The short barrel actually made shooting this stage offhand much easier. As soon as I saw the dot swing across the target I sent the shot. Okay. I didn't require a single extra shot on this stage. I ended up second overall and first in armored division. On this stage the shooter must use their support hand to get one hit on each steel target from each position while carrying a kettlebell in their strong hand. This is the kind of shooting challenge that a slide mounted red dot makes much easier. I was first armored and first overall on this stage. The shooter must neutralize one falling steel and get one hit on the static steel from each position. This stage started at about 45 yards away from the targets. Is that a hit? No, 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 no. All hits. My noise canceling ear pro are remaining cut out too long for me to hear my own hits. Impact. I was second overall and first armored on this stage. Impact. On this stage the shooter engages one paper target for score from each position. Hits outside the zero zone add time to the shooter's score. Two shots are mandatory. The shooter may fire as many rounds as they wish to get the zero zone hits. Good thing you shot three. Don't take. Okay. Clean, clean, clean. One out. Yep. I was fifth overall and first armored on this stage. In the end, I was first armored and first overall at this match. I believe my results go to show how effective a shorty AR, whether that be a braced pistol or short barreled rifle, can be within a 200 yard envelope. Thank you for watching and come back again for more match and multi-gun competition content.